Hey guys, so today's video was um, pretty requested last time I brought it up to you guys that I um, said that I would make a video like this if you guys wanted me to and um, a, few, a few of you guys said you did. So um, I want to talk a little bit why I don't show horses because honestly throughout my whole life I've always had people ask me why I don't show horses or everyone just assumes that I show horses when I don't and I always have to like explain to them why and whatever. So today I wanted to make a video explaining why I don't show and yeah let's get started. So the first reason why is because I never got started basically and I know like when a lot of kids get into riding horses they start by taking lessons and usually when they start taking lessons they start to learn how to ride show wise how they want you to ride in the shows and a lot of barns have um, like 4-H groups or what's it called like IEA teams and stuff like that so usually kids can just join those groups and then they learn from their trainer and from their friends how to show and how to ride and it's just really easy you just jump right into it I never got that when I was younger if you guys know my full riding story um, I'll link that video down below but if you guys have been watching me for a while and you know kind of where I came from I got my horses when I was seven years old my parents know nothing about horses. No one in my family knows anything about horses. Um, my dad was a single dad at the time and he couldn't afford to like get me into lessons like twice a week and he didn't know anything about the horses so my horses were just pasture pets until I started learning how to train them. My dad didn't have the money to send them per to professional training. so. I never got like a jump start into learning how to show and I was never in 4-H so I never just I never got a start in showing I got a start in horses but like showing was never a part of that when I was younger it was always just me and my horses if you know what I mean so I never like got a jump start into learning how to show how to dress and that stuff is really expensive so I just never got into it so the second reason and this is the main reason I don't show now because if I did now like I would consider it now but you can't show in Hackamores and I know some shows differ in the rules but most of the shows around my area I said that really weird around my area um go by AQHA regulations which is the American Quarter Horse Association and in the AQHA rule book it says that any horse five years or older cannot be shown in a hackamore or a snaffle bit so if I were to use bits if I wanted to go to a show the snaffle bits the only bit I'm gonna use on my horse I don't care what the rules are I'm not putting a nasty leverage bit in my horse's mouth and you can't use the either of those you can't use hackamores or snaffle bits and so it's so messed up and I'm just not gonna do that to my horses even if I wanted to show them whatever I'm just not gonna show them so yeah it kind of sucks and it's really stupid and I don't understand why that's the rules why you have to have a shank bit because I've been to shows where people have had to change their bits because their horse was over five years old and they had to change to a shank type of bit so it's really stupid I think it's just a stupid rule so I'm not gonna just use a bit in my horse's mouth just because I want to show okay I care about my horses more than showing so. so the third reason is because I'm honestly just not a competitive person I'm not at all I know some like most people actually love competition they love competing and getting out there and going against other people and honestly that's why my athletic career didn't really work out ever because aside from the terrible coaching that I experienced I just wasn't a competitive person when I ran track oh my god if I lost the race I didn't give a shit at all like I was like oh well <laughs> I don't care I lost the race oh my god Ooh, oh well same with like 
volleyball I was more competitive in because I was working with my team on the court but like with and track meets are actually pretty similar to horse shows you go in your event then you wait till your next event and you find out where you place and it's an individual sport and I just was never competitive like oh well I just I didn't care if I lost and even if I did win, like I was happy, like, oh my gosh, great, like I won, which never freaking happened. I was terrible at running, but I was just not a competitive person. I just didn't care if I lost. I was like, what the fuck ever, oh well, I'm just here to be in shape. Okay, the fourth reason is because I have never had the money to show, okay? Showing costs money. And now that I'm getting older, I have a little bit more money. I did buy a show shirt. It's hanging up there in my closet, but anyways. Um, that show shirt cost me 15 bucks. Like, I paid $15. I'll show you guys. I got this from a girl, like, two towns over that was selling it for 15 bucks. And it was dirty, and it's clearly been used. But I was like, I ain't spending freaking $200 on a show shirt to be all blinged and bedazzled. For horses that I can't even show. I can't even show my horses because I ride in Hackamores. So, I've just never had the money to buy an expensive show saddle, an expensive bridle and breast collar and the show halters and chaps and show clothing, like the western stuff. Because I primarily ride western. Like, that shit is expensive, okay? Aside from the entry fees, paying for gas. I just now bought my own trailer. That's another reason we've never had a trailer. I just now bought my own trailer, which was expensive enough for a high schooler. And then on top of the gas and an expensive show horse, because show horses aren't just regular horses. They've had so much training and I didn't have the money to pay thousands of dollars to have my horses professionally high-end trained so that they could win shows. Like, what was the point in spending so much money to show my horses if my horses wouldn't win? So if I was going to pay for all my show clothing and chaps and saddle and bridle and everything, my horse has to be good, you know? Like, I want to win if I'm going to spend all that money. So I never had the money to, to send my horses off for that kind of training. And my dad didn't either, and he wasn't going to. Like, I was seven years old. Horses were just fun time to me, so... I've never had that set sort of money. So if my if I grew up with parents who wanted me to be in horse showing and wanted me to have that hobby that were willing to pay for it, maybe I would be showing right now, but we never had any of that stuff. So the fifth reason is now that I could show if I wanted to, honestly, I don't like aside from the non-competitive aspect I also am not that interested in showing because the show world gets kind of bad. Like, I even just in saddle clubs, like, I've witnessed so many snooty, hoity-toity people that have all this money and look down on me. I've, I've seriously met people, you guys, that look down on me all the time and blow me off and and don't take me seriously and don't take my horses seriously and I've met some I've met people like that and I just think it's sad because those people grew up in the big show world so they have all this stuff handed to them they have the money to buy their living quarter trailer and their $200 show shirt and chaps and expensive ass boots and spurs and show saddles and all this shit and here I am with my little $50 leather squeaky ass saddle that is scratched to hell and all this shit. And my horses, Sugar is a, basically a mutt. Like she has terrible confirmation. Like she's just a trail horse who has no other training. And people look down on me all the time because of it. And they don't take me seriously because of it. And all I can do to them is just fuck you. Like I don't care what you think. But that's like part of the reason because the show world can be so snotty and 
so absorbed by money and how good you are and who's better than who and whose horse is better than whose. And I'm not into that shit. Like, I'm just not. Oh, they, that doesn't interest me at all. Aside from the fact that people can get so competitive and so caught up in winning that they, the horse ends up suffering for it a lot of times. People drug their horses. Um, let's see. People will shock their horses. Like, um, in the big, big barrel racing type of stuff, you can you hear of people shocking their horses, like, with electric pens to get them all hyped up and get them like energized and people will beat their horses there's so much horse abuse locking them in stalls 24 7 so they don't get dirty and all that shit and some training is just so ridiculous just because they want the horse to act a certain way so that they can win a along with that whole soaring issue that trump i guess put on hold um, if you guys don't know what soaring is, and I think it's like saddle seat or something like that. It's an English sport. They, um, it's mostly in like the Tennessee, Kentucky area where it's big, but they want the horses like to walk with these huge steps. So they put these big like metal pads under their feet and they put chains around the horse's feet. They'll soak their ankles in diesel fuel. All kinds of terrible shit just to make their horses perform a certain way. And the horse always ends up suffering from it. And so that's why I've never been that interested in getting deep into the show world. And so many like young girls, even like my age, get so snotty and caught up in showing and winning, they never realize the value of hard work. Like, I've met so many girls. I know this one girl who boards at a barn that I work at. Her horse, like, won Congress or something. So she's got, like, this thousands of dollar horse, but she hasn't been riding that long. I mean, yeah, her parents had the money to just go buy her a horse that has all the training. Like, in, in my world, I had to do the training. If I wanted my horses to do something, I had to teach them to do it. Okay, I couldn't just afford to go out and buy something that know, knew how to do it. Okay, to me, that's not winning. I don't feel like I'm winning unless I put in the hard work and the effort to win. Like, if I can just go buy something that will win for me, that's not winning, in my opinion, if you know what I mean. Some people, to some people it is, and that's, you know, that's whatever, that's their own thing. But to me, I want to work hard to win my way. And I don't know, just, that's kind of like cheating to me. I don't know, it just seems like it's cheating to me. Like, you didn't put in that effort and hard work to win because you're a good horseman. You just bought a horse that does good for you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So for various reasons, that's why I don't show currently. Mainly because you can't show in Hackamores, but those are some other reasons why I don't show as well. Um, except for speed events. Speed events, you can use whatever tack you want. So that's why I've done some barrels and stuff like that. But other than the other stuff, that's why I don't have never shown. And honestly, if I would have gotten soccer into training when we first got him, because he was like only seven or eight when we got him, if we had the money and time to send him off to a professional trainer, he probably could have been a really good horse. And I've even had people look down on me for that. Like I had such a nice horse that went to waste or whatever, but it is what it is. And I don't plan on getting rid of him anytime soon. I don't plan on getting rid of him at all. <laughs> so he's going to be mine forever, whether people like it or not. But I'm just saying, he probably really could have been a nice show horse. Um, but yeah, so that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys want to see anything else and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.